Hello students, I welcome you all to part 3 of our TK inter video series. In this video, we will be discussing how to create a GUI for a machine learning project when our data set contains too many features. As you can see, GUI that we have created in our last video. If our data set contains too many features, then manually creating a large number of entry widgets like this can be impractical and time consuming. Instead, we can utilize a CSV file as a test file for performing predictions. This approach is especially useful when working with large data set contain too many features obtained from websites like Kegel where test files are often provided. So let me show you some of the data sets. As you can see here, data sets like credit card fraud detection consist of 31 columns while other data sets like you can see here human activity recognition using smartphones contains 563 columns. So you can see this data set contains 31 columns. This data set contains 563 columns. So it is impractical to create individual entry widgets for each of these features like this that we have created in our last video. So however, in such cases, test files are often provided that you can see over here train.csv and test.csv. If such test files are not provided, user can create a test file or where a test file is provided, we can utilize it to perform predictions instead of manually entering the values for prediction. So in this video, we are going to create GUI for this project sonar mines versus rock prediction. So as you can see, we are going to create GUI like this where user can give test file and after user can download CSV file which contains predicted values by our model as a extra column. Let me show you how our test file looks like as you can see here our test file that user can give as input for prediction as you can see here it contains only input values means only independent variables that you can see over here that user will give as a input after that user can download CSV file which contains predicted values by our model as a extra column. Let me show you predicted file as you can see over here. So we are going to add this column predicted target as you can see over here. Our model predicted this as a mine for teaching learning purpose here just I have added one row to this file as per your requirement you can add as many rows as you want. So as I said, we are going to create GUI like this. So now let me demonstrate how we can achieve this. So let's jump to Jupyter Notebook. So let's first import require libraries. So let me import TK inter as TK. Also let me import from TK inter import file dialog. Also let me import pandas as PD. Also let me import joblib library. Now let's create the TK inter GUI. So let's first create the main window object root is equal to TK and as you know we have to end every TK inter application with root dot main loop. Now let's set the title of the window. So for that we have to use root dot title method. You can give any title. Let me give classification. Now let's set the dimension of the window. So for that we have to use root dot geometry method and let me give 200 cross 200. So as you know, we are going to create GUI like this. So by pressing this button, user can give test file. So let's create this button first. So let me write TK dot button and let me set to our root window and let me assign it to one variable button one is equal to this statement and let me write text equal to open CSV file. So here we are going to create a button that will open the file dialog and don't forget to pack this button. Let me run this code as you can see over here. So now let's decorate this button. So let me set width to 15 height to 2 and let me set background color to light green and let me set active background color to light blue. Now let's set font. So let me give font family as a Arial font size to 11 and font style to bold. Let me run this code as you can see over here. Now let's add some padding from the top. So here let me add one parameter pad y is equal to 50. Let me run this code as you can see over here. So by pressing this button user can give a test file 
for prediction so now let's create a function to do this so here we have to add one argument command and function name open file you can give any other name as well so now let's create user defined function with name open underscore file and let me write pass as you can see over here so when user press this button it will execute this code so let me write file dialog that we have imported over here dot ask open file and here we can pass file types so in python list we have to pass tuple and let me write csv files and dot csv let me assign it to one variable file path you can give any other name as well and let me check if file path then in try block let me write pd read underscore csv and let me pass this file path and we have to make header is equal to none and let me assign it to one variable data is equal to this statement so here user can input csv file so it will check then it will execute this try block and it will read that particular csv file by making header is equal to none and in accept block if exception occur then it will execute this accept block and let me set exception as e to show exception information to the user let me use message box so let me import from tk inter import message box and here let me write message box dot show error and here error and let me use f string and let me write failed to open file and let me show information regarding particular exception e this one let me run this code let me click on this button as you can see over here from here user can input test file for prediction so when user provide a test file as a input we have to perform prediction so let me create another function with name process data and here we have to pass the data means our pandas data frame which is created from given test file by the user let me pass here pandas data frame which is created using read underscore csv method of pandas and let me create definition of our function process data and we are taking pandas data frame as an input from here and let me use joblib dot load method and here i am going to use this model that we have created in our last machine learning project rock mine prediction so here i am loading our saved model that i have saved with joblib dot dump method and let me assign it to one variable model and let me write model dot predict this data which is entered by the user as a csv file and we have converted it into pandas data frame using this read underscore csv method of pandas and let me assign predicted values to y underscore pred now let's create new column which contains predicted target by our model y pred which is available inside y underscore pred this one so here we are creating new column with this name predicted underscore target so this column contains predicted values by our model that you can see over here y underscore pred so now let's create a new function so user can save this particular file with this column predicted underscore target so let me create one function with name save underscore file so let me call this function from here with data so as you can see over here when user press this button it will call this function open underscore file this one so user can select a test file that we have converted into pandas data frame after that we have called this function with this particular pandas data frame so it will call this function as you can see here here we are loading our saved model and here we are performing prediction on this particular data frame and we are storing predicted values into y underscore pred and here we are creating new column with this particular name which contains predicted values by our model after that here we are calling this function that will save our csv file which contains this particular column predicted underscore target so now let me create logic for this save underscore file function and again here we have to write file dialog dot ask save file name and let me set default extension to csv and here we have to pass one argument 
file types so let me copy this and let me paste it over here and let me assign it to one variable save path is equal to this statement so again let me check if save path then let me use exception handling try and accept blocks in try let me write data which is our pandas data frame and let me save as csv file and here we have to pass save path this one and let me show message box to the user dot show info as success and let me write one message file saved successfully if exception occur and let me write exception as e to show particular exception type to the user and let me use message box and let me use show error method and here let me write error and let me write one message for the user and here let me use app string to show particular message to the user failed to save file and let me show exception type as well e this one now let me run this code let me press this button so here user can give a test file as you can see over here fail to open file module tk enter file dialog has no attribute ask save file name let me press ok let me close this and let me check ask save as file name that we have to use let me run this code once again let me press this button let me give this test file which contains only input values means only independent variables let me press open as you can see over here here we can save this file with predicted values so here it is asking to save a particular file let me write predicted file let me press this save button as you can see here file saved successfully let me press ok let me show you our saved file as you can see over here this is our saved file which contains predicted target as well as you can see over here so as i said for teaching learning purpose i have added only one row for the prediction you can add as many rows as you want for the prediction as you can see over here so this way we can create a gui for machine learning project when our data set contains too many features as manually creating a large number of entry widgets can be impractical and time consuming so here user can give a test file as an input and user can download a csv file which contains predicted values like this that you can see over here hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe this channel if you like this video smash that like button Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.